guys and welcome to today's video. I think that this might be the first video I'm putting up on YouTube with my new hair color. I really hope you guys like it. I showed you guys the big reveal on Instagram and I was so so excited about it. I can't wait to share the whole video with you where the followers get their makeovers with me as well. Stay tuned for that. Today's video as the title may have suggested already is all about skin and hair care but with Holi in mind. As we all know Holi is just around the corner so happy Holi to all of you in advance. I am probably already traveling by the time this video goes up but I wanted to make sure that you guys were fully equipped with your hair and skincare checks fully in place for the big festival. I have to tell you that Holi with its beautiful colors and just traditions and all in general is something that I've always loved to see and also considering the Bollywood junkie that I am I've seen it in so many films looking as beautiful and big as ever. So I decided that since everyone loves to play Holi with colors and some people like to play it with eggs I just thought I would make a check list of a few things you can keep a prep for in advance for the fest. I know that we all love makeup and I usually do a lot of makeup videos. Hopefully you are already watching my makeup tutorials. In case you do like the look I have going on on my face right now, I will give a full breakdown of my makeup look down below in the info box. So take a look at that. But let's dive into the skin and hair care things that you might be able to keep a check on just in time for this big festival. Nykaa is actually running a holy sale. I will insert a lot of their discount details down below in the info box. This video is in collaboration with Nykaa. I will be inserting a whole lot of product recommendations through the tips and categories that I'm giving you. All the links will be Nykaa links. Please check them out down below in the info box. Okay, so tip number one that I want to give you is I think the most basic. Make sure your hair is well oiled well before you start playing holy. Hair, just like your skin actually, can get really dehydrated, can get really affected um, by the various types of rung you play with. So make sure your hair is well oiled. Some of the options that I would definitely like to highlight are the Parachute Hair Oil, Himalaya has a really good anti-hair fall hair oil. And then you could also use something like the Innisfree Camel Hair Serum, which is something that protects your scalp as well as your tresses. I feel like these are options that might come in handy. Go through them, see the price of which works for you. I'll keep giving you options on the various tips I'm giving you. Tip number two that I'm going to give you is I think something that's really important especially if you're a nail lover like me. Make sure you apply some transparent or a top coat or a base coat, some kind of transparent nail polish on your nails before you go and dig your hands and nails into all of that rung. It can be really really tough to take colour out of your nails just as tough as it might be for your hair actually. You don't want your cuticles to dry up and start flaking off and peeling off. The only way to do that is to make sure that they're well prepped. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some options on products here. I'm gonna try and give you affordable options. Like I said already, all the links will also be down below. At the top of my head, I can think of brands like Kiko Milano, I can think of Nykaa, Maybelline. They have some fab transparent polishes that I think do a great job. Okay, the third tip I'm going to give you guys is to make sure your skin is also very, very well protected. I think that one of the toughest things to do is take your rung out of your skin, but Apart from that, the dehydration and just the complete dryness you face after because you scrub so much, it can just be really, really hard on your skin. All of the after effects of Holi, I guess. It's fun to play, but I think it does take a toll on your skin, right, at some point. So make sure you use a really good moisturizer on yourself. If you don't want to use a moisturizer, you could also use a really nice baby oil. Some of my go-to moisturizers are the Innisfree range. I love the Himalaya cocoa butter products. I also think that Nivea makes some great moisturizers for the body and uh, I think another option could also be for you to use some really good baby oil because it's really gentle and it's really soft and if you have sensitive skin I think that that's the one you should pick. Okay so I've given you some tips on the before but I also want to give you a couple of tips on the after. Cleansing your face can be a really imperative part of how you make sure your skin is not damaged at all. So make sure you guys really have some nice cleanser options on you. For me, the face shop uh, rice water works really, really well. I love the Garnier Micellar Water. I think that if you have dry skin and if you have a lot of dehydration on the skin, you could also use the oil infused Micellar Water. Otherwise, you could just use the regular Micellar Water also. If you're looking for wipes, then you could look at Himalaya. Himalaya has really Really nice wipes and I also think that Simples wipes are amazing. I'm giving you guys options as and when I'm thinking of them. Okay so the last but definitely not the least tip 5. 
the after effects of cleansing because assuming you've gone out there's dust there's pollution now there's rung you want to make sure that your skin comes back to its original state as soon as possible and maybe even uplift it from its regular state so i would say try and use face mists or toners for a little bit after if at least not on a regular basis some of the face mists that come to mind are the faces hydro toner apart from that i also really like the chia seed toner from face shop apart from that i also really like the green tea mist from plum I think that these are just some great options for you to consider. I'm just trying to give you guys an outline of what I think will help you uplift your skin and hair in general. Um I I hope that I've been able to help you guys even if it's been in the smallest of ways. What I would also suggest is that you go ahead and let me know down below in the comments if you have tried any of the products that I mentioned or what it is that you find favorite in your category. It might be fun for me to read what you're currently using because I feel like it's really important for this to be a two-way communication. If there's something new in the market you think I should try or if you've tried some of the things that have worked for you really well or have not worked for you really well also let me know either way down below in the comment section i really hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing holi now you're fully geared and prepped to well take care of your skin and hair as the festival comes along i hope you have a fab 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 time stay tuned to all my updates on instagram because i do post on instagram very very often and now that i am traveling at the moment when this video goes up i think you might enjoy a nice travel feel as well i love you guys so 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 much please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that you keep coming back with those notifications you will get for new videos because i upload five videos a week and i would love for you to be a part of them i love you so much see you in the next one Mwah.